Are you tired of mass shootings? I am too. I get sick and tired of hearing about people going into schools and shooting at children in there and people going to big uh, public rallies and whatever else and doing shootings there. I've come up with a solution that we could end it in a few months easily. And the solution is that every time that there's a shooting, patriotic Americans that love this country need to go out and buy guns and ammunition. And uh, the reason for that is not to celebrate the shootings, not at all. It's because we don't feel safe. Uh, there's more violence, that means we need more protection. Now see, what would happen is, very quickly, the liberal news media and the news media in general, general, one of their agendas is to get rid of gun ownership. That's why they're constantly demonizing guns and private gun ownership. So if all of a sudden they see that their reporting is causing more people to get guns and ammunition and gun sales are going up, which this has been happening already, by the way, then they will start to realize, you know, maybe we should stop reporting on these mass school shootings. Huh, what a thought. And if they stop reporting on the mass school shootings, the shooters will say, hey, I can't use this thing as a means of getting ahead politically, getting an agenda through. I'll sacrifice myself for this agenda, this socialistic, communistic agenda of removing firearms. And so therefore, there's no point in going and doing school shootings. And see, the reality of it is, if you really want to get rid of guns, you know what the best thing is to do? convince people that it's actually less crime and it's safer. You don't need all these guns. Why do you have to have, you know, 20, 30 guns and tens of thousands of rounds of ammunition? You don't need all that stuff if the country's safe. You say, but there's a lot of crime. How could they lie about it? Oh, well, I don't know. Kind of like the way that they lie about the economy being really good right now. The economy's never been better. We're, we're doing great. Inflation is down and unemployment's down and all this other stuff. Um, I drive around, I see people's homes not being fixed, I see people's vehicles not being fixed, I see people barely being able to afford anything at the grocery store, I see people that have serious money problems, can't pay their debts off. I don't think the economy is that good, and yet the news media wants to convince you that it is. So the news media could lie and say, hey, we're really safe right now. If there's a shooting, don't report on it. Just say, hey, we're not going to talk about that, it's too negative. You know, kind of like with the economy being bad. Let's not talk about the housing uh, collapse that's coming and the mortgage crisis that's going on right now and student loan debts that are over $1 trillion that can't be paid and whatever else. And people are having a hard time making auto loan payments and the auto repos that are going crazy. And uh, let, let's not talk about that stuff in the news media. We'll just talk about school shootings. Anytime there's a shooting, it's just huge news, as long as it meets their agenda. If it's a transgendered person or something, then, oh, well, let's just kind of cover it and we'll move on to the next story. You see, violence is caused by media. You understand? Let me say that one more time. Violence is caused by media, be it the news media or the entertainment industry. I mean, where are these people getting these ideas of how to go in and shoot up people? It comes from violent video games. It comes from movies. It comes from a culture that glorifies killing people. Where were the school shootings 100 years ago? Even 50 years ago. Where were the school shootings at? Uh, well, Americans didn't have guns back then, so that's why there weren't school shootings. <laughs> I don't think so. Americans had just as many guns back then as they do now. Maybe even more. You know, Americans might have more guns than now than they did in the past. I don't know. But uh, that's the quickest way to get rid of the thing of these mass shootings. Stop reporting on it. That simple. Because the more you report on it, liberal news media people, the more men like me are going to go out and get guns. Because I don't feel safe. All you're doing is just causing me to live in fear, you see. And so I feel that I need to have more guns and ammunition. And uh, just to tell you, um, they had this uh, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, I think, a sports rally or something, and there was a shooting there and whatever. Um, I bought more guns and ammunition. I did. Uh, there was a school shooting not that long ago, I think in Iowa or something like this, and there was a shooting earlier in Lewiston, Maine, I think late last year or something, 2023 if I remember correctly. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. 
that's why uh, I buy more, more guns and ammunition. Uh, news media, if you want to convince me and other gun owners to give up our firearms, then just report that this nation's wonderful and safe and everything's happy. Because the more you report on violence, the more we're going to arm. It's just that simple, okay? And we have a Second Amendment right that shall not be infringed, and that is to keep and bear arms. And above that, we have a God-given right. You see, we believe in God in the Bible, okay? We're not atheistic communists that want to take people's rights and freedom away from them and tell them how to live. We actually believe in liberty of conscience, too. It's another God-given right. But our God-given right stipulates that I can protect myself and my wife and my son and my dog. And uh, you won't take that from me. Ever. Um, unless, unless, hey, you want to take away the guns, then take away the crime. And you have the power to do it. Because you could ban all the evil stuff coming out of Hollywood. All the things that train people to be killers and, and desensitize them to violence. And you could also stop reporting whenever there's a shooting. It's just that simple. If you're not going to do that, then we're not going to give up our guns. Okay? See? Such a simple solution.